Today I'm going to talk about uh, Gertzel's algorithm. This algorithm is about uh, computing the DTFT of a sequence uh, Xn at a specific frequency omega c. X of e to the j omega c. Okay. Now, uh, this is an m plus 1 uh, point uh, DTFT. And uh, or uh, you can compute discrete Fourier transform, but it will be m plus 1 discrete uh, Fourier transform. Um, capital M plus 1 discrete Fourier transform. So we assume that the input sequence is a finite extent sequence and its length is n plus 1, capital N plus 1. The algorithm uses an IAR uh, structure. Actually, it uses two IAR uh, filters. Uh, the development is based on two uh, filters. And uh, uh, we will uh, first define uh, sequence Sn, uh, which is equal to Xn plus 2 cosine omega c, Sn minus 1 minus Sn minus 2. This is a number, cosine omega c specific number. As, uh, we will assume that Sn minus 1 and Sn minus 2 is equal to 0. And this is a recursive uh, IR uh, filter. And to compute Sn, we need to perform one multiplication here. Now, S of C, which is the Z transform of Sn, is simply s of c, x of c, 2 cosine omega c, z inverse s of c, minus uh, z to the minus 2 s of c. Uh, this cosine omega c is a constant, therefore its uh, z transform is simply cosine omega c. Then let's find the transfer function, sc over x of c. Sc over x of c is 1 over 1 minus 2 cosine omega c, z inverse, minus z to the minus 2. This can be factored into two terms. Sc over x of c is equal to 1 over 1 minus e to the minus j, e to the plus j omega c, z inverse, times 1 minus e to the minus j omega c, z inverse. Okay, SC over X of C. Now, uh, we can get rid of one of these terms using an FIR filter. Let's assume that I have uh, YZ over S of C, which is simply 1 minus E to the J omega C, Z inverse. Um, this can, if I can cascade SC over X of C, with yz over s of c, I can get rid of this term here, and I will do that. yz over x of c is equal to 1 over 1 minus e to the j omega c z inverse. Okay, so the, this um, uh, sc term uh, will disappear. Uh, from the scene. Uh, now, given this uh, yz over uh, sc, see sc over x of c, yz over s of c, scs will cancel out, and I will get yz over uh, x of c. This is actually and FIR filter here, FIR component YN is equal to SN 
minus e to the j omega c minus j omega c or s n minus 1. S n minus 1. Okay, this is an FIR filter. On the other hand, this is still an IR filter. And let's analyze uh, yz over x of c. So I need another paper. Let me adjust it. Like this. So here I have yn uh, is equal to yn minus 1 minus e to the j omega c. This is times uh, plus xn. yn is equal to e to the j omega c times yn minus 1 plus xn. Okay, this is the inverse Z transform of this uh, transfer uh, function. Now, uh, let's assume that Yn minus 1, uh, sorry, Y of uh, minus 1, Y of minus 1 is equal to 0. And let's take a look at Y0. Y0. Okay, y0 is simply equals to x0. Okay, I need to get a new pen. Okay, then y1 is simply e to the j omega c. This is my constant, y0 plus x1, or y1 is equal to e to the j omega c x0 plus x1. Now, if I take this uh, into e to the j omega c parentheses, I will get x0 plus x1 e to the minus j omega c. Okay, that's it. Uh, and I have a run out of space, so I will just squeeze this e to the j omega c right here. Okay, then I will continue y2 is equal to e to the j omega c y1 plus x2. Now, if I take this into e to the j omega c parentheses, and I use that, so I use y1 here, so I will get x0 plus x1 e to the minus j omega c plus x2 e to the minus j2 omega c. Okay, e to the minus j2 omega c. Okay, as you can see, this um, uh, converges, or this is simply in general, yn is equal to e to the j omega c summation n from 0 to capital N. Okay, let's make this L. L from 0 to capital N. XL e to the minus j omega c L. Okay, I'm almost there actually. Um, next step, y of capital N, see I want to evaluate this little n at capital N, is simply equals to e to the j omega c summation L from 0 to capital N XL e to the minus j omega c L. This is 
n plus 1 point dft or dtft of xl or xn whatever um, if this omega c is equal to uh, 2 pi uh, k over capital n it will be n for n plus 1 point uh, DFT discrete Fourier transform of XL but uh, we have no restriction at this point this omega C can be any omega in between minus pi and plus pi or uh, between uh, 0 and uh, 2 pi okay now if you want to uh, calculate uh, the magnitude of the DTFT you simply take the magnitude of both sides so Yn simply becomes x of e to the j omega c magnitude now if you want x of e to the j omega c uh, you have to multiply Yn by e to the minus j omega c Okay, 